Hello, welcome to a short tutorial on connecting Omniverse to Insight. Simulation results of using ANSYS Insight can be visualized and shown inside Omniverse. Uh, we can use the advanced ray tracing capability, keyframing, uh, asset inclusion, all that's within the A NVIDIA Omniverse universe uh, to render and display and communicate your results from Insight um, to your audience. Uh, these are examples of visualizations done and pushed from Insight uh, into Omniverse. Uh, these are types of the types of simulation visualizations that you can create uh, within this asset stream. Now, the connection to between Insight and Omniverse is continually evolving. Today, uh, we have two basic options that we would suggest using. If you're using Insight prior to, or sorry, from 23R2 or later. Um, you can utilize a connection from Omniverse to connect to an Insight session and transfer your visualization assets over. Option two, if you are using a more recent version of Insight, 25R1 or later, there are additional options for connecting from Insight itself to Omniverse. This provides a little bit more control and features um, and is a little bit more easily scripted and automated. So depending upon where you sit within these two workflows, um, choose the different options that work best for you. If there are other workflows that these do not cater to, please contact us as there are some other potential workflows that we could look at um, and utilize uh, depending upon where you are uh, within your um, uh, version of, of, of Insights as well as uh, Omniverse here. So for option one, um, you first need to install and configure Omniverse uh, according to NVIDIA and follow the instructions there. Once you have Omniverse installed, open up an application in this example, Composer, and we want to install the ANSYS Omniverse Geometry Service GUI kit extension. You can find that under third party uh, and search for ANSYS. By enabling uh, this uh, geometry uh, kit, uh, you will see a little UI pop up here, and this will be the, the interface that we will connect back to Insight uh, from within the Omniverse um, application. So for within here, uh, we can use this as our gRPC connection mechanism. Uh, this port number should be the same port number that we're going to start Insight with a gRPC server call. Uh, those two applications can then talk to each other. Uh, if you need to update information, um, you can use the request update here to pull in new information from Insight into that Omniverse session. So let's take a look at what that looks like here uh, by opening up Insight. Uh, we'll first start in the Omniverse uh, Composer application here. We'll go to Window Extensions. Under Third Party, we can search for ANSYS. It comes up pretty high here uh, in the search in, in the list, uh, and we will click the Enable. We have the UI um, service here, um, and this is what we will use to connect through to um, to a running session of Insight. I'm going to specify the uh, port that we're going to use. I'm going to use 56788, and um, we can then start Insight um, with that gRPC server call. From the Insight launcher, um, you can actually give that minus gRPC server on the command line, or if you're running Insight straight from the command line, you can just give the straight minus gRPC underscore server, and then give it that same port number that we're going to run. This allows the, the uh, Omniverse application and Insight to talk to each other across that uh, mechanism. Now you can open up and operate Insight as normal. So here you can open up and post process your data set as normally as you would do in Insight and get ready for that connection through. Once you're ready, uh, we'll go into Omniverse here and say connect to the DSG server. Uh, this will allow us to connect in uh, and it'll bring in the data set into this location in the Omniverse um, sort of infrastructure. We can navigate to that same infrastructure here, users, test, and we can drag this scene into the scene here. We now have our data that we had in Insight visualized in Omniverse here. Let me turn off the uh, ground plane here, and we can now see that we can uh, manipulate through the scene 
and visualize the results that we had in Insight within the Omniverse universe. Uh, any updates that we do in Insight, if we want them reflected into Omniverse, we can uh, do that by using a request update, uh, which will resync uh, the information from Insights in Omniverse. As an alternative, if you're running Insight version 2025R1 or later, uh, from within the user-defined tools in Insight, you can actually access uh, UI inside of Insight to push data from Insight's point of view. It's under File Import Export in the, the Omniverse USD export. Uh, this will give you a UI capability to push from Insight um, your assets from there into Omniverse. So let's take a look at what that uh, looks like in practice. So from within Insight, um, we'll go to User Defined Tools under File Import Export. We'll double click on this option and we can dock it over here if we like. Uh, we can again uh, load your Insight data into um, and prepare the, the visualization that you would like to have uh, pushed to Omniverse. Uh, once you have done so, you can select the export directory and start the service. Uh, this will push this information in through to Omniverse. We can then in Omniverse navigate to the same location and we can drop that scene into Omniverse here. And again, uh, we have the same scene inside of Insight inside of Omniverse now, uh, and then we can continue working within Omniverse to create the visualization uh, that we'd like to have using the Omniverse tools uh, from here on through.